Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to do something different um, with this video. It's just going to be a, a little shout out video to show my appreciation to all you guys. Um, I'm going to give some shout outs to some of my um, supporters here. Okay, so let's start off here. Um, Amber Simpson, shout out girl. Um, I love your quote. I actually pinned pinned your comment that um, what you said about Charles Manson, as far as you're talking about NK, and as far as um, you know, everybody saying, "Oh, she didn't kill anybody," but either did Charles Manson. It doesn't mean that she wasn't involved in in some way or the other, you know, because um, Charles Manson got uh, his uh, charge was like a conspiracy. Because he didn't actually kill anybody, he just told other, told everybody to, and kind of like brainwashed him too. So NK could have just been like the mastermind behind the plan, and maybe didn't even, maybe wasn't even there, but was calling the shots, you know. Um, Helen Wheeling, I love your comment. Um, you said so true, so true. At 31 minutes on. Um, Chris's new interview, you gave me the timestamp. You said um, he had control in his relationship with NK, yet in the same interview, he also claims he that she had him on a leash. Good point. Good point. Because remember how he said, oh, Shanann, you know, I didn't really feel like I had any control, but my relationship with NK, I feel like I actually have control, and, you know, and, but yet, in that same interview, remember he said she had him on a leash and, you know, she could just tug him away from Shanann. So you pointed that out. Good, good call. Good point. Um, Sheila Graham. She has been emailing me a lot with a lot of good insight, a lot of good analysis. She's really been working hard on analyzing, like, a lot of the video, the morning the, that he, um, you know, load Shanann up and then the two girls, whether they were alive or not, there's people that, some people think, you know, that what he said was a lie and they weren't alive and he had already killed them. I think that they, you know, that they were still alive. But um, anyway, so she's been doing a lot of good, like, in-depth analysis, like on, um, just finding little details and zooming in and, you know, screenshotting little parts of the video and zooming in and seeing different things, which it makes you wonder. It does. I haven't really talked about any of the stuff that she's, um, that she's, you know, informed me about because I kind of didn't want to take credit. I kind of wanted her. I even asked her maybe she wanted to do a collab or something because I, I, I wouldn't feel right, you know, doing that without her, but... So, thank you, Sheila Graham. I do appreciate you. I know sometimes I can't respond right away to all your emails or whatever, but I, I do get to them, and I really appreciate them and really actually pay attention to them and look at them in great detail, so thanks. Um, Paisano, Candace, Candace Gambino, <laughs> my Italian friend. Um, she's been like... One of my first supporters, like my loyal supporters, is like watched all my videos and comments on all my videos since day one. So that's awesome. Thank you. Um, and I I always look forward to read your comments. They're always so sweet and so I don't know. It makes me feel so good and I smile every time I read one your comment. Um, Daisy Jane, she uh, you know has sent me some really sweet emails. Always, you know, telling me to make sure that I get outside and and enjoy life. You know, don't get too caught up on, you know, this case or make sure I take a break from it every once in a while, you know, to step outside and just, you know, realize that <laughs> there's some positive stuff in this world, you know, um, and don't let it like this case consume me, you know, um, 
yeah, just to, you know, it always reminded me to step away once in a while and see the beauty, you know, and I really do appreciate, appreciate that you're right. Cause sometimes like you do get consumed by it. And if that's all you're doing, you're watching the videos, you're making videos, you're reading comments and you're so consumed just by like this murder case, this evilness that, you know, sometimes you forget to take a step back and, you know, realize there's other there's other things going on there's some positive things going on and there's good things and it's just not all just focused on this negative stuff so i appreciate that um daria b you are awesome you've you comment on like all my videos and comment a lot and have a lot of good insight um morgan henry awesome Juanita Richards, awesome. I, I love reading all your guys' comments. And I, hopefully I'll be able to do this maybe like every week, give you shout outs, uh, you know, and hopefully be able to get to all of you guys because there's so many awesome, so good supporters that. So if I don't get you this time, hopefully I'll get you next time. But um, yeah, Juanita Richards is always commenting and always has a really good insight and really good uh, thought about the case. It makes you like, huh. Yeah, and, and and there's so many comments, you know, so many good ones. Same with Morgan Henry. Oh, and then <laughs> this one. I love this channel name. Leave Jim Alone is her channel's name. How awesome. <laughs> I remember the first time I read that, I saw her comment. I just cracked up. <laughs> Leave Jim Alone. Oh, she, that's awesome. Um, Maybe. Maybe. She's awesome. She's always right in there commenting and being real active and has a lot of um interesting insights and makes me um like your con you know, everybody's comments just always make me have those moments like oh yeah or that's true or you know so keep them coming keep them coming um darla mckenna awesome you always have the sweetest comments too you this comment um that you made the other day just made my day it's uh says something like how you feel like when you watch us that you're just hanging out with us and um also i really appreciated this when you told us when you said that it helps you get over the whole tragedy like our videos i'm glad that it, it can help you definitely um aussie flag i always enjoy reading your comments i'm running fox awesome um i made a comment down here because you made me on one of your comments made me understand why they did put words in chris's mouth you know what i'm saying that on that last interview because i was just like why are they you know they're putting words in his mouth why are they doing that let him talk and when i read your comment it made me better understand why they would do that you know so thank you i appreciate that um Darlene Vita, your comment, good point where you um said, you know that minute and a half where uh Chris goes into the, you know, when he first comes home and the cops are waiting for him and you know, he opens the car door, everybody thinks he uh actually I have a video that I shoot, I forgot about that that I'm editing where when he does drop or whatever he's doing, it looks like I zoomed in and it actually looks like he picks up something it really does and his hand is kind of like this and um then he goes inside so i forgot about that i have to edit finish editing that and i'll have that out you know hopefully by next week but um you yeah you made a good point you know when he goes in there for like a minute and a half and they're all waiting outside like what the heck and he takes you know a minute and a half to come to the front door to open it which it, Normally, if he went straight back, you know, straight to the door, it would only take him like 10 seconds, if that, you know. Um, and you made a good point where you think he put all the fans on in the house. Because when they came in, all the fans were on. And I noticed that too, but I, I was wondering, like, why are all these fans on in the house? If it's summer, do they have the air on? But that is probably what he did, I bet. It was one of the things he did, because maybe it kind of smelled. I don't know. But uh, also... Your comment made me remember that um, in one of Shanann's texts that she texted him, um, she was texting. Remember she said to that guy for the air conditioner come over? And that was, I think, wasn't that Friday or Saturday she texted him that about the guy coming for the air to fix the air? So was the air broke? You know, 
uh, well, Monday, was it still broke, I wonder? And, you know, so I wonder if it was really hot in there. You know, and that's why another reason he put the fans on. I don't know, unless if the guy did end up coming over and fixing air. I'm not sure, but I know there was a text where she asked him, you know, the air conditioning guy's coming or call the air conditioning guy or when is he coming or make sure he comes or something to those to that effect. I can't remember the exact words. So it made me think that maybe the air was broke. So whether or not he ended up fixing it, I don't know. So I wonder if it was really hot in there that day. I'm not sure, but the fans were on. And I doubt that he had them on all day. Like when he was gone to work, I doubt he they were running the whole time that he left them on. So he probably did go in there and turn them on. You're probably right. So good point. Also, M. Monroe. You knew this... <laughs> freaked me out because you knew I was a Libra. I don't know. It was crazy. You're like, are you a Libra? Because, you know, it, it asked me if I experience, like, if I experience an overwhelming need to balance everything. So, I don't know. Yeah, and I am a Libra. So, that was crazy that you could just tell by maybe some of my um, traits. You know, like, I don't know. That was, that was awesome. I was impressed. So, Ed Monroe, thank you. Definitely. Um, Snow Remover, you had a good comment where you said um, about that doll picture that was covered up in the, um, I think it was just, wasn't it a mat, the tw uh, back of the twister mat, I, I feel like I remember reading in the Discovery like the back of it so it kind of, but it looked like you know like a sheet almost but you said um but I don't know if it was a mat or if it was a blank a blanket or whatever but I, I think I remember it being like a mat of a twister that twister game but whatever it was um that um you made a good point that maybe he did that to prepare the kids to see mom covered up and kind of brain train them and desensitize them. So when they did see Shanann covered up, that it wouldn't be so weird and abnormal and like, wait, what's going on? That they, you know, they remember seeing, oh, that doll was covered up. So they kind of were desensitized thinking it could be a normal thing, you know, that happens. So that, that was a good point. I never even thought about that. Um, and then my last one for today, uh, Mark Mulligan from Dublin. Um, I always enjoy reading your comments too. They always put a smile on my face, definitely. Um, <laughs> I'd love to visit Dublin. Uh, have you ever been to the United States by any chance yet? Um, just leave me a comment. I'm just curious if you've ever actually been here. And, like, if you have, what state have you been to? Um, alright, guys. I think that's it for today. But I'm going to try to make this, like, a regular thing where I do shout-outs, like, every week. Or maybe I'll try to pick a day. But, uh, <laughs> to show you guys my appreciation and, like, how I enjoy reading your comments. And I just, please don't ever stop commenting because it does help me, um, help me realize things. Seriously. I look like look forward to, you know, my time reading the comments and commenting back and even if I just don't respond but I give you a heart, you know, that means that I've read your comment and I like it or, you know, I appreciate it. I don't of course I don't agree with every comment, but I appreciate them all. You know what I'm saying? Because I appreciate other people's opinions. And sometimes you you know after you might not agree with it this moment, but maybe, you know, after reading so many and maybe doing research and, 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 and uh, seeing, you know, a different perspective so much or so many times, then you could slowly maybe even change your, your viewpoint and your opinion eventually. So, or can make, actually make your, opinion or theory even stronger on the opposite side if that makes sense um so i always like a good debate and like a d other opinions that aren't the same as mine i really do appreciate them so like i said if I, you guys get a heart that means you know that i've read it and i appreciate it and um 
Sorry, I can't respond to all of them. Um, I wish I could, but there's so many, so I try to get as many as I can, but I really do enjoy reading them, so. Um, all right, guys, well, I will see you next time. Bye.